Well, we're looking at a project which I've I haven't seen anything else that could come close in regards to the technologies and the techniques we're using on this scale. I mean, as you can see across this way, around 26,000 hectares of uh, wide-scale predator control and also um, biodiversity outcomes monitoring. The Paitari Aotane project has actually uh, paved the way for this in a big way. We've learned some valuable lessons, particularly uh, trapping techniques and um, actually the, de the development of new devices and um, new technology as well, which is really exciting, uh, particularly wireless uh, recording and remote sensing and also uh, using trail cameras to pick up predator abundance and uh, that, can weigh, that can record uh, a pre and post control operation. We've got the Cape Kidnapper Century just across the way there and already we're starting to see uh, Tomtit and um, Robins turn up here at Tomata Park and they're already making their way over so we're, we're quite hopeful with um, when we start doing a, a bit more pest control, targeted pest control, but we'll still see more of these species becoming more prevalent in the landscape. We're actually dealing with uh, Lanka research at the moment around uh, a trial at, where we've um, been testing the, the sheep herds on some selected farms and we've got uh, treatment and non-treatment sites across the landscape there for some, some farms just quite nearby where uh, we've been going to be removing cats from those farms, some farms and not removing cats from other farms and testing the level of toxoplasmosis in the, the sheep flocks and uh, we'll be monitoring over time the effect of removing cat cats and predators from the environment and see if it actually reduces the rates of toxoplasmosis and that longer term can actually mean um, increased lambing rates for farmers. Really critical to the success of the project is the people part of the picture. If we haven't got people on board in, in this understanding the value of biodiversity we haven't got a long term solution. We can't drive significant biodiversity performance in New Zealand unless we connect in the private land component of this. Without the farming community involved in large scale biodiversity projects in New Zealand we don't believe we've got a hundred year solution. Simple as that. We have basically got small islands of uh, biodiversity arcs and a sea of pests. That's the reality of New Zealand's context at the moment. So this project is big, it's 26,000 hectares for an ecological restoration project, that's not small, um, but the, the real, to be really frank with you, if this was another 26,000 hectare ecological restoration project, that would be fantastic, but it wouldn't be transformational in terms of our region. So what we want to do is prove up the template where we can take this uh, and apply it to the rest of the possum control areas that we have in our region uh, as a template for how this might roll out across our region. That's the vision behind it. And ultimately what we're doing here, if we can prove up this uh, pathway, it's as applicable in the Hawke's Bay region as it is in the Taranaki region or, or Greater Wellington region or Horizons or Southland or anywhere.